Hello and welcome. I am VPS2 Music here, and I am here today with my newest song called Crossing the Desert. Today I'm going to show you how what I used in making this song and how I did it. First, we're going to start off with the track, of course, because that's the fun part, and then we'll get down to the specifics. And make sure everything's all ready to go, and here we go. Alright, that's my track. So today, I'm really kind of featuring my new library, which is called Olympus. Uh, yeah, Olympus Elements over here. And it's it was only for a hundred bucks, and it's made by Sound Iron. And no, if you know who Sound Iron is, Sound Iron is like probably the some of the greatest people who make choir ensembles. They did Mars, they did Venus, they did the Requiem stuff and all the solos and so their stuff is really good. And at first I was kinda of skeptical on like how how awesome Olympus would be and I would say it is totally worth it and it's totally amazing. So in my track, going back to my track, as you can see here I used the women whispers at the top. And it sounds like this. Oh, oh yeah, I, for, I keep forgetting to do that. Let's put this here. All right. Yeah. So I mean, like, and then they have cooler, a whole bunch of. This is the uh, the choral effects. Uh, the risers are probably one of the coolest things. Yeah, just, <laughs> just like, oh, horror. All right. Continuing on, I have my next track is Male Shouts. It's practically what you think it is. It's the Male Shouts. <laughs> Looks like you can do like the swell, the offset. I mean, you have full control over like everything. You just like there's some male risers, 
which are like, you know, the dark, evil, bad dude. And like, you still have like all the controls and stuff. And then we start getting to the Legato patches, which is like, this kind of blew my mind the first time I started messing around with it. I mean, it just sounds good. And I only have like the basic Reboot on. I mean, you could do, you could do anything. I mean, you could change practically whatever you want. Yeah, you know, this is cool. I found this. You could like. And I bet you could like assign this. Yep, you can assign that. So you could do it like right in the middle and just like be awesome. Uh, female Legato looks like it's next. And yes, probably the, my favorite, my favorite track. My favorite part about Olympus Elements is most likely the female Legato. Because it's just, it's just beautiful. Uh, I'll, I'll do, I'll do more Olympus stuff. Alright, here's the other Olympus track. Oh, uh, yeah, this is cool. So here, I'll make a new one. So basically, when you... This is called the the Phrase Master. And what you do is you just, you know, throw in your phrases or sil syllables, what they say. And S stands for short. And M stands for long. Not really, I just don't... It, I just know it's long. <laughs> I don't have my keyboard with me right now, but here, here, this is this is this is my little thing that I messed around with, that I tested. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, like every time I chant, like I lift all my fingers up. Boom, it changes. Death. Now, oh, I should I should take a look a little like Olympus Olympus elements. I mean, doesn't just come with you know these four things that I was looking at. I mean, it comes with all of these. I mean, I haven't even looked at the Valmaster, but the sustains, the staccatos, and the marcato. I mean, it comes with everything. Oh, and their ambiences. Their um, sound iron is very famous for their awesome ambiences, and they have. Great stuff here. I won't take a look at that, so I don't have to. This video doesn't have to be forever, but I'm just saying, like this library is just ridiculously awesome. The next, the next thing I probably you can hear the first is my um, my string, my string library. It's I uh, actually use action strings. It's kind of, it's basically it's a little, it's kind of loopy ish, but it's it like everything's realistic and you can change. You can change the phrase, you can change the way, the way it, like, so this is what you get. Uh, I can't show you it because my screen's not big enough. Anyhow, there's like red keys on the bottom, you can see a little bit there. You have red keys on the bottom and the blue keys on the top. Blue keys are the, uh, the, um, the actual playable keys and the red keys are like the key switches that you can switch between, uh, phrases here, like in this part, where I'm switching from... Yeah, uh, quarter notes to eighth notes. Dun, dun. And then the mod the modulation just kind of the intensity. And then my high action strings is actually a it's a real um they actually recorded it like that. See as you can see here, they made this little template thing. I mean this is cool too. I'll I'll make another video about this if you guys would really want to see it, but and the mod wheel and the expression going. And then I key change right here to... So this is my string section in, in this song. Besides that, I got my next thing right here. Brass. Oh, this stuff is awesome. Probably it's from it's from Vivace. Vivace. Uh, it's also another loop-based thing, and I really wanted to get it just to kind of teach me 
teach myself how you know orchestration works and stuff. But I found out that I really love this brass patch, and here you see why. And I probably used it in all my new stuff <laughs> because it's just that epic. Oh, that's why. Oh, interesting. Anyhow, and then the next, the next patch. Oh yeah, uh, just basically one note epic, epicosity. This is basically sustained chords. It's also from Ramacha. It's probably the second most used I use in every single thing. It's just like, it's just a chord, but when you know you add, you know, you layer it on, it just kind of. It, when you layer on everything, it, it just emphasizes the chord change. And that's what I really used it here for. I mean, you can't really hear it. Uh, it's going to be loud. Yeah, yeah I, I sing a lot, so... That that just me. Um, okay, last but not least, the percussion. This is also a new library, <laughs> like brand spanking new library that I just got. And damage, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna make another song where I can I show you like in detail where how I use it, and I'll actually get the keyboard this time. But this is kind of like my first video of this kind, so just bear with me. But yeah, this is my... I'm not very good at percussion in general. And I, I am safe to say that. Um, yeah, I'm not very good rhythmically. I mean, when it comes to, you know, music... Mm, yeah, when it comes to the music instruments, I am absolutely fantastic. But, you know, with percussion, I'm not that great. I kind of see percussion as a tool to not be as epic but to kind of drive everything but yeah to drive everything rhythmically and i mean even if it sounds crappy like that um which it does if you ever listen to any of my percussion stuff it's not that great unless and if they are great it's probably looped anyhow <laughs> um uh, I've, i don't like using loops that much Except for action strings, which isn't really loop. It's just kind of more realistic um, uh, rhythms that actually sound good that I can't do with any of the other stuff I have right now. And it looks like that is it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below and I can get back to you. Um, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, like, whatever, whatever you want to do. And I will see you on the next one where we take a look at damage. All right. Peace.